Welcome back to the Evolution of Fighter Plane series. In this series, we'll be looking at some of the most advanced fighter aircraft from each notable war. In the previous two episodes, we looked at the best fighters of World War I and II. This time, we'll explore the best second generation fighters which saw service during the Cold War. The MiG-21. Whilst the US was slowly producing the spectacular yet relatively underwhelming Century Series fighters, the Soviets went about filling the skies with thousands of extremely capable, economic and reliable jets. After all, this tactic worked outstandingly with the AK-47. The MiG-21 had an extraordinary production run, spanning from 1959 to 1985, which saw over 11,000 units being created. The Soviets distributed the MiG-21 to a vast amount of countries, 14 of which reportedly still operate the jet to this day. During the Vietnam War, the Soviets sold the MiG-21 to the North Vietnamese, which saw it come face to face with American opposition. The North Vietnamese utilised the jet by flying low to the ground, thereby avoiding radar signal. They would then approach the American aircraft from low and behind, pulling up hard unleashing their weapons and flee home thanks to the jet's Mach 2 capability. To the Americans, they became known as snakes in the grass, reportedly downing 17 F-105s with zero losses. The MiG-21 could be equipped with a respectable armament, carrying 420 rounds of its double-barreled 23mm cannon, a variety of air-to-air -air missiles and unguided rockets and bombs. A total of 2,000 kilograms of ordnance could be carried by the MiG-21. The MiG-21 was notably small and nimble, with a length of 52 feet and a wingspan of just 23.45 feet. Yet despite the second generation fighter's qualities, its combat record from the 30 wars it had been included in shows a negative kill ratio. It's important to emphasise, however, that the jet has primarily been defeated by third and fourth generation fighters. We'll see in detail why that was in the next two videos, so make sure you're subscribed if you're interested to see that. The Saab 35 Draken The double delta wing jet fighter, named Dragon in Swedish, started development in the late 1940s and 50s. With the rise of the jet age and the heightening of the Cold War, Sweden foresaw a need for an aircraft which could intercept both nuclear bombers and enemy fighters. The Swedish requirements were uniquely specific. They required a cutting-edge, high-altitude fighter which could reach speeds of Mach 1.8, be flown by a single pilot, operate from reinforced public roads which Sweden used as wartime air bases, and be refuelled and rearmed in no more than 10 minutes by conscripts with potentially minimal training. At the end of 1959, deliveries of the J-35A commenced. The introduction was notably smooth according to Flight International, with positive first impressions of the fighter, which met Sweden's specific requirements. That being said, the Draken did have some teething problems when it was first introduced. Pilots reported difficulty landing the jet due to poor stability caused by its unique shape. This design also saw the Draken entering super stores. From the prevention training of super stories, Draken pilots discovered what we now know of today as the Cobra Maneuver. The Cobra Maneuver effectively turns the aircraft into a full body air brake, forcing the jet to drastically drop speed and causes any pursuing fighter to overshoot. Drakens were originally equipped with 180 rounds for their two M55 30mm cannons. Four air-to-air -air missiles in the form of RB-24 Sidewinders and RB-27 and RB-28 Falcons. 
12 individually mounted 135mm rockets or two 75mm air-to-ground rockets. The Draken could reach speeds of Mach 2 or over 1,500 miles per hour thanks to its variation of the Rolls-Royce Avon engine, the Svenska Flygmotor RM6C, after burning turbojet. The Draken variants had an average length of 50 feet and a wingspan of 31 feet. Due to Sweden's strict export policies, the Draken only served with a handful of nations. Beyond Sweden herself, those operators included Austria, Denmark and Finland, with the United States purchasing second-hand Drakens from the Danes as trainers for the National Test Pilot School. Production ran from 1955 to 1974, which saw 644 Drakens built. The F-8 Crusader In 1952, the US Navy issued a call for a new fighter to replace its existing aircraft. John Russell Clark and the Vought team answered with the Crusader, which is often referred to as the last gunfighter. The F-8 Crusader earned its fearsome reputation during the Vietnam War, where it achieved a kill ratio of 19 to 3 by downing 16 MiG-17s and 3 MiG-21s. Despite its nickname as the last gunfighter, the Crusader recorded most of its kills with its air-to-air -air missiles. Though primarily a fighter, the F-8 also proved successful when conducting ground attack roles, whilst being operated by both the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Crusaders were armed with four 20mm Colt Mark 12 cannons and could feature eight Zuni rockets, four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, two AGM-12 ballpark air-to-ground guided missiles and either 12 250-pound bombs, four 1,000-pound bombs or two 2,000-pound bombs. The F-8 quickly became America's top daytime fighter, yet pilots reported struggling with its instability during landing, especially on carriers. The Crusader was the first American fighter to reach 1,000 miles per hour topping out at Mach 1.86 thanks to its Pratt & Whitney J57 P20A afterburning turbojet. However, unlike future jets, the Crusader's afterburner could only be lit at full power. The F-8 Crusader had a length of 54 feet 3 inches and a wingspan of 35 feet 8 inches. Eventually retiring in the year 2000, the last gunfighter saw operation with the USA, France and the Philippines. Honourable Mentions The English Electric Lightning The Lightning is a British fighter which served with the RAF, the QA Air Force and the Royal Saudi Air Force as an interceptor during the 60s through to the 1980s. The Lightning is famous for its exceptional speed, ceiling and rate of climb, topping out at over twice the speed of sound and reaching 36,000 feet in under 3 minutes thanks to its two Rolls-Royce Avon engines. Although the official ceiling of the Lightning was never announced, there are reports of training missions between the Lightning and the U-2 spy plane taking place at around 65,000 feet. Lightning pilot and chief examiner Brian Carroll reports taking a Lightning F-53 up to 87,000 feet, noting it was on a knife edge control-wise. The Dassault Mirage 3. The Mirage Mark III is a single engine fighter aircraft developed by the French. First seeing operational deliveries in July 1961, the Mirage 3 saw service for a range of countries, including Argentina, Australia, South Africa, Pakistan, and Israel. The Mirage 3 was the first reported Western European combat aircraft to reach Mach 2 in a horizontal flight. As well as its exceptional speed, the Mirage 3 was hailed as a fantastic dogfighter. 